Hey, what's up? Hello, I'm Jamira Payne, intuitive tarot reader and human design guide at the Velvet Sun Tarot, coming at you today with a, another quick tip. And today we're talking about how to make a decision. So recently I was talking with a client about a trip that they wanted to go on. And after a while of talking and listening to a lot of, well, if I do this, X, Y, Z, if I do this, then X, Y, Z, it really came down to, well, if I go, I'm going to regret it because they kind of didn't really want to go. Or if I don't go, I'm going to regret it. So if I go, I'm going to regret it. If I don't go, I'm going to regret it, <laughs> which I think is a very common kind of thought process for us. As humans, we are really taught. I personally believe that there is a right decision and a wrong decision. Society really likes black and white thinking, but this might come as a shock, as a surprise. Hopefully it's liberating, but there is no such thing as a right or wrong decision. It's just a decision and it's our fun little brains, these little meatballs of jelly in our head that decide, oh, that decision was really bad or, oh, that decision was really good. But it's all subjective. There is no definitive truth for what is good or bad. And the second thing that I told this client, and I also tell myself all of the time when I'm myself having the struggle of what should I do is you will likely feel negative emotion no matter what decision you're going to make. You already have it set up that you will regret one or the other. So if you're going to regret either decision, if you're going to feel the negative emotions anyway, might as well just plan right now for how you're going to do that. And one way I like to really frame that is, okay, which would you rather, which would, where would you rather be when you're going to regret it? Or what would you rather be doing? And this can be applied to any instance, not just going on a trip. So for instance, if you stay home and regret going on the trip, would you rather be at home regretting it? Or would you rather be on the trip regretting it? <laughs> would you rather be in this? I think they were going somewhere tropical, if I remember right. It was, yeah, it was a resort. Would you rather be at this resort regretting it or would you rather be at home regretting it? Same with jobs, like leaving a job or finding a new career. Would you rather regret quitting your job and taking the risk, but at least you're trying it? Or would you rather regret staying at the job, but at least you are continuing your own pattern of safety or whatever? Or, you know, would you rather... uh you know, eat this. And for instance, I'm lactose intolerant. Would I rather eat a bunch of ice cream knowing I'm going to probably feel like crap, but at least I got to eat some ice cream that was delicious? Or would I rather skip out on the ice cream and not feel the pain, but I don't get the ice cream? Like I'll probably regret eating the ice cream, but I'll probably not regret not eating the ice cream. So it's really which one would you rather regret? Which situation would you rather be in? You're going to feel the negative anyway. So at least pick one that you like. <laughs> at least pick one that sounds fun, that sounds um, that sounds the best, but not only sounds the best, but feels the best in your body. And I have a whole video about how to process and how to feel emotions in your body because our brains are so good at, at trying to figure things out, but it's really our bodies that tell us the truth. It's really our bodies that tell us which decision we would rather feel uh, the regret or feel the negative emotion or, or whatever decision you're trying to make. So I hope this made sense. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments down below what decisions you're trying to make. If you use this tactic and it really helped you, or if you have any other decision-making tactics that you like to use, I'd love to hear them below. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.